everyone, welcome to my channel, Christine and Light. My name is Charlotte. Thanks for being here, guys. This is going to be for Taurus. Taurus, this is your October reading. I'm a little bit late, but hey, it's only what? The. Is it the fifth today? Or something like that? Whatever. Thursday was the first, so whatever. I'm uh, having like a family, not issues, but something happened that an event, sad event. Um, and also, I have been to the dentist and pulled two tooth out, so that's why I have been a little bit behind. But we're still in the beginning of October, right? Time and time is of illusion. So Taurus, basically, when I was setting up, because I set up, you know, I cleared the area and all that stuff, my sage. Um, I felt like. Um, co co contemplation for you guys. It's a full moon on, you know, the first Thursday happened in the 12th house of Aries, Aries, sorry, and we have Mars retrograde there and Chiron. So it was really emotional for you, I feel, Taurus, because you have Aquarius energy in in your in your sign now with Uranus, right? So it's, I think you're recalibrating the self here because Aries is about to something. I feel like Taurus you're really like choosing you meaning you're cutting people out you're changing something in your career or there's a revamping happening and before you could see clear and innovate you had to pretty much um, get emotional and get deep you know that scorpionic energy which is your opposite um, and even if you don't feel like that now, you will get the answers you need. Because I think you're doing shadow work now, okay? Because Mercury is in Scorpio, guys. So, mm. I think you're finding the best truth about yourself and how you show up to relationships around you. Because like Scorpio is your seventh house. You're finding out who's lying, who has your back, and who doesn't. And who's just taking advantage of your kindness, your niceness, and your self-nurturing energy. Because you are ruled by Venus, right? Venus, the ruler of the seventh house, Libra as well. But for you, your seventh house is Scorpio. So it's that love you're getting. Who are you giving too much love and attention to, uh, Taurus? That's what I want to say. Maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio, actually, because I wanted to say Scorpio now. And we're in Libra season, which is your sixth house. Again, duty, nurturing, you know, sense of duty. Who are you giving your love to that doesn't deserve it? Maybe they did it once, now they don't anymore. Something like that. We're all dealing with relationship issues. We've been doing a lot of shadow work collectively, you know. And now with the Libra season, it's time to see who's who, who's what, and um, who we want to be with, who we no longer want to be with. New alliances and relationships are forming as well, could be on the work front. But we're, everybody's dealing with some kind of relationship issue here right now, whether it's a good or a bad, okay? What else do we have? So we have two full moons in October, okay? One is on, the other one is on Halloween, and it's called the Hunter's Moon. This one was the Blue Moon, which happens once in the blue, okay? The Hunter's Moon is on the 31st. I'm going to do a reading, actually, uh, a full moon to full moon reading. Both, okay? And I'll do it by, by element. But anyway, what else do we have? So Uranus is in your, in your, in your sign, so it's, Uranus is pushing you for that change, you know? And then Scorpio is all about death and rebirth. Oh, and then we didn't talk about the big kahunas over there. And Capricorn, Capricorn, which is your ninth house, expansion, higher knowledge, the vision shooting that error right normally it's Sagittarius but for you it's Capricorn with Jupiter Saturn and Pluto Pluto just went direct today today is the fourth there you go today is the fourth because I know it because Sunday today Pluto went direct so Pluto death and rebirth it's time for that rebirth or whatever you have to death dead it now because there's a rebirth waiting for you but it's up to you free will okay death and rebirth there's a combination something has to end for something to begin Jupiter giving you that expansion, right? Giving you that hope, showing you the way. With Mercury and Scorpio, you're seven. I don't know if this is relationships, guys, or it's just you, ident your identification as you towards yourself. I think this is inner work, really, but it's an inner work that obviously is gonna have you drop stuff and people around you because that's the way it happens, right? <laughs> With a rebirth, there's we change, so things have to calibrate to our new energy, right? I'm saying this because we have the devil reversed. The devil is attachment. It's seduction. It's um, addiction. It's uh, something you can't let go. Something you are tied to, tied to, bound to, chained to. 
Something you feel you can't live without. Something you think you need. You think you need it. But did you ask yourself if it was out of your life or what happened? It would hurt. But I'm sure you would move on. How many people have we, you know, left along the way? How many jobs have we left along the way? How many things have we dropped that we thought we couldn't live without? And we're fine now, right? Remember that. So the devil energy, this is like enticement. It's, 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 it's an illusion. It's an illusion. It's an illusion, trying. It's an illusion that's calling you to do seduction. But in the meantime, it's seduction. But once you enter that cave, it's a lot of work to get out of there. And I think you're finally, you're breaking free, Taurus. Breaking free. Because it's reversed. I like that. Okay. You're breaking free, Taurus. Yeah. Let me just look at it while I shuffle. Sometimes messages come through. There's a master manipulator, maybe. But I think it's something, it's an illusion you've been, like, you've, you've been tethered to, believed to be true, because I don't know, maybe you were scared to start over. You've been strung along, maybe. You've been, you know, puppeteered. Uh, or maybe it was somebody doing it to you, or maybe you, you were just doing it to yourself. It's an attachment, right, basically. See this butterfly? Wow, look at the butterfly. It's a fire butterfly in the pier on top of the cave. This is what, it's like a phoenix rising. I think you freed yourself from this detachment. I mean, from this attachment. Yeah, you've detached. You've detached, Taurus. Okay, let's get two more cards and then we'll clarify. What is it? Oh, nine of swords reverse. What did I say? I told you guys, you're breaking free. Nine of swords is an energy of, um, this card is beautifully depicting the nine of swords though, because I can tell you. It's not a pretty card in the normal right away. It's... So nine of swords, here's beautiful. It's somebody sleeping. But they're kind of in a day in a dream state. It's like, see, she's sleeping, she's naked, vulnerable. But at the same time, it's very, very beautiful nine of, nine of, nine of swords here. At the same time, she's kind of connected here and letting the emotions like in this card, I don't feel like it's anxiety and nightmare, though. I feel like it's letting the emotions just come in, not overwhelm you, but just letting the emotions come true, so then you can analyze them. You know what I mean? That's what I feel with this card. So, I feel like you're doing some shadow work, or you have done some shadow work. Because remember, guys, it's in, nine, it's in reverse. So, these two together are heavy, very heavy energy. The devil and the nine of swords. This is like nightmares, guys. This is heavy, 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 heavy negative energy here. Heavy, 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 heavy shadow work. And I think with Mercury um, in retro, in uh, going into uh, sorry Scorpio, your seventh house, you're gonna see the clarity, and finally, the work will be done. It will be completed. The shadow work is completed, Taurus. Okay, the shadow work is completed. I'm so thrown off by this card though, the Nine of Swords. Yeah, it's like you did the work, right? You, you, you were vulnerable, you stayed vulnerable, you surrendered, and then you just let it, and you did the work, and then up, and then you just let that fire back again. It's like a new beginning after the Nine, the nine sorry, is the Ten of Swords, but I feel like you don't even have to, you already identified in the Nine of Swords before the Ten arrived, you already identified who was backstabbing you, uh, what you were attached to that was no longer good for you, people, places, and things, okay? Because you surrendered. So you skipped the Ten of Swords. And now, here you go, there's an inspiration. It's kind of like an Ace of Wands energy, you know? That's what I'm feeling for you here. That's really strange. Okay, let's get one more. Wait a minute. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a, Jules? Non, je peux pas. Qu'est-ce que tu fais avec? Viens ici. Non, je viens pas. Five of emotions. Yeah, this is the um, wow. All these cards are so like whoa, heavy, heavy. This is shadow work. Oh wow. Five of emotions. Yeah, I think you're still going through it. 
like I said, you've identified, now you're at the final stage, and that's why I said when Mercury enters Scorpio, the work is achieved, it's done. It will be finally done. There will be some residual energy, residual um, sadness and sorrow and disappointment, but it's normal. We, we, don't, we can't just snap our finger and, and like it's go pff, gone, you know? We're human. But you have you have worked so you should be proud of yourself here you should okay you should be proud of yourself definitely be proud of yourself okay don't beat yourself up you have worked hard you know you you have um an ability to heal chaos and trauma that other people don't the the ones i'm the tourists i'm talking to right now that are watching and you're almost there. You're almost there. Okay? Take the time you need to heal, to nurture yourself. Okay? Don't uh, feel like you have to be there, you know, or anything. Take the time for you. It's very important you take the time for you here. Pretty much that's what I want to say to you. Okay? It's time for... Take it to take it slow. Now you've done a lot of work. It might, you know, it, it, this was huge. This was really, really big. It was really, really big. Okay, let's just clarify here. We're gonna clarify the devil and the nine of voices. Let's see what comes out, basically. Okay. Spirit, what do we have for Taurus? Please, October. Let's clarify. Princess of Pentacles. Princess of Pentacles. But it's reversed. Princess of Pentacles. They have the prince and the princesses and the princes here. And then they have the queens and the, and the kings. So this is a feminine energy. It's emotional. You've, you've, you've um, something you've emotionally invested in that was fairly new turned out to be a huge disappointment, a tricky situation. <laughs> turned out to be a lie it's reversed you in you you put you put your energy you were trust with you were trusting almost like a childlike energy you were excited it's pentacles so it's something tangible it could be maybe invested in a home i don't know why i'm saying this you moved and you, you, you rented an apartment and you found out that actually the apartment had problems something tangible i don't feel like it's Whoa, those two just fell. I don't think it's love, though. I don't know. I feel like a home. It's weird. I feel like a home or something. A move. Something. A move. A move. You, you spent money on something. Basically, you spent money on something that you wanted to purchase. Okay? And Uranus and your son would do that. If you want to purchase stuff without paying attention. And yeah, Mercury and Scorpio is about to go in shadow and then retrograde. Maybe you haven't found out yet, but you're going to find out. You were, how do you say this? They were con artists. Con artists, okay? They're pulling your strings. There's loss of money here. There's loss of money. It's something you coveted, something you desired, something you were dreaming of. And it's going to cause you to disappointment and sorrow. I don't think the money is an issue here, but it's more that so the disappointment. Okay? Like, I really, really, really believed in it. And it turned out to be, I was taken advantage of. Don't fall into victim mentality. It happens to the best of us, okay? What else? Yep. Oh, my God. Three of swords. Sorrow. Didn't I say that? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm telling you. You, uh, wow. You really believed in this. Taurus, I hope you didn't lose too much money. The damage wasn't, I hope. I feel like the damage wasn't, it was, it's not about the, the financial damage. It's more so about the, the emotional damage damage there are swords so she's holding her head here so here she's holding her head here she's holding the moon it's like 
This is sorrow and disappointment, and there you go. Three of swords, sorrow. Heartbroken. You're heartbroken. Wow, tell me, you guys tell me what it is you were trying to purchase or invest in, Taurus, okay? Last but not least, ooh, the devil, no, strength, sorry, strength. Here, I always get confused. They call the strength card lust, which I don't get. I don't get it. Anyway, so, for me, the devil should be lost, you know what I mean? But anyway, see the strength card. This is telling me, Taurus, you, um... For those of you in the beginning, I was saying that you were like disappointed in somebody. There are two stories here. Like I said, somebody is disappointed, find out a, uh, something, a truth about a situation and that they were manipulated, which applies to both scenarios. <laughs> Manipulation, um, staying up at night either because of hurt and sorrow or staying up at night because you're just something you really, really want, you know, and you're thinking about. Okay. <laughs> And then the five emotion in both scenarios as well, which is sorrow and pain. And then this is for those of you who were investing monetarily or energetically into something, okay? Which caused sorrow and pain here. And then here, you have the strength. You have the strength to get over this. Like I said, you guys are strong. You have an ability here. Very Scorpionic energy. Maybe you're like tapping into that seventh house Scorpio energy of yours. You know? Because um, that's our shadow. You know, our, our seventh house is the opposite is our shadow. So we do have both qualities if we're able to tap in. You're very Scorpionic right now, energy. Your energy is very Plutonian, very Scorpionic, very strong, very like determined and very like um, able to take pain and transmute it. You know? That's what Scorpio is very agile at doing they master that and that's the strength card that's faith that's trust i think they wanted to put trust and they put lust i don't know forget about that it just bothers me i'm gonna put my finger on it so yeah you have faith you have trust in the universe you know that everything happens for a reason you're gonna get back you're gonna get back on your feet i feel like you guys are very strong i mean i don't think this is i think it hurts definitely hurts three of swords five emotions but see how you go from the three of swords to the five emotions so you're starting to heal you're healing and here you're picking yourself up because this comes right under the strength card <clears throat> you're gathering your courage and you're moving forward it's right under the five emotions so that's beautiful taurus there's definitely a loss here that causes a lot of pain but you are so strong I, can't keep, I, I gotta keep emphasizing that. You are very strong, Taurus. The lion in you is coming out. And remember, Venus is in, uh, going into Virgo now. It was in Cancer. Sorry, it was in Leo. Maybe, you know, that whole passion. Yeah, you kind of like went in. Hmm, you spent money hastily. Hmm. There was an impulsive uh, investment. Impulsive investment causes sorrow. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to call this uh, impulsivity um, trapped you into um, deceit. You were deceived because you were too impulsive and trusting. You were too trusting. I don't feel like it's love. I feel like it's something you were buying. It's really weird. This is a, let's see what we have for the guidance here from the goddess guidance oracle by Colette Bradley. Yeah, you were, you know, don't blame yourself. I don't think you're blaming yourself, though, because you know, you're like, hmm, I should have known better, you know? Lesson learned. <laughs> Coventina, purification. It is time for a clean, cleansing detoxification of your body and mind. Yup. That's what I said. You guys are doing the work now. You're like, okay, fine. I get it. I knew it. I should have listened to my intuition. That's maybe why you're like, yeah, should have listened to my intuition. And now you're like, okay, let's move on. Like I told you, like I said before, you're like, okay, let's move on now. What are we gonna do? We're gonna learn the lesson and we're gonna pick ourselves up and gather our courage and move forward. Next, move on to something else, and this is not gonna happen again. Now we know, we learned. So that's the cleansing, that's the healing, right? Coventina. It's time for a cleansing detoxification of your body and your mind. Right? That's what you're doing. You're handling it pretty well. Because I think you saw the you saw the signs and you ignored them, so you know I'm not saying you're blaming yourself, but you're not 
victim mentality. You're not in a victim mentality, sorry. But it's like, well, I, sh I shouldn't have. I knew it. I ignored the, the signs, the red flags. Well, that, that's what I get, you know. There's nobody to blame but myself. Next time, I'll be smarter and listen to my intuition, you know? That's what I'm feeling here. That's why the energy is not so... It's it, Like, the disappointment is heavy, okay? But it's um, it's very mature, like... Okay, I learned my okay. I learned my lesson. You know, the disappointment is heavy. The sorrow is heavy. It's here. It's right. It's it's a, it's, a, it's an emotion. <laughs> There's sorrow, three of swords, five of emotions. You know, Ooh. but because the devil is reversed already, and the nine of swords is reversed, I'm like, it's in and out. You know, it's a sense of maturity. It's very very scorpionic energy. Wow, very mature. You guys that have done a lot of shadow work, you know the way. You know the way to shadow work. You know how to do shadow work. It's really weird. You guys might have, you guys might, um, have a lot of uh, planets in your Scorpio. Not to say, first of all, the fact that it's a opposite you, you're very tapped into Scorpionic energy, okay? It's, it's your shadow. You, you've done it before. You know how? You, you um, master that energy. You, when you need to, you, you can tap in, basically, okay? I forgot the soul journey, I almost forgot. Let's see what we have for the soul's journey, please, Spirit. What is the lesson here? What is the guidance? Balance. Mm -hmm. I bring a state of perfect harmony in my world, and I do so without judgment. This is seeing things clearly. This is like, this is a spiritual, emotional maturity. This is looking at life and not overreacting and just evaluating from a place of balance, truth, and perspective. Balance is perspective. That's what I'm saying. You guys are like, it's like, okay, this happened. Let me look at it, understand it. Okay, I know this. why this happened. Fine, okay. At least I know now. Next. And then I'm not saying that nothing else is going to happen. But every time, I feel like every, you're very mature, Taurus. That's all I want to say. Spiritually mature. Okay. I feel like everything, you're just so mature. I don't know what else to say. You're balanced. That's why it's like, like I said, the emotion, the hurt is the same for everybody. Hurt is hurt. Pain is pain. Sorrow is sorrow. Disappointment is disappointment. You know, there's no like half disappointment or 50% disappointment. No, it, that feeling is a feeling. It has its um, blueprint. Now, how we deal with it and how long we, we how far we take it, and, and how we perceive it, that's what makes it different for everybody, you know? And I feel like you perceive it, you weigh it, and then you know what's up. And it never, one doesn't never go above or under the other. You weigh it, you weigh the things, you know? It's like, it's balanced. I don't know how else to say it. I'm like, blah, 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 blah. you know, you're just balanced. It's, you're harmonious. You're in your harmon your your harmony, your balance, your spiritually like wow, you know. You've mastered your inner voice, you've mastered, you know, your inner promptings, you've mastered the laws of the universe. Wow. Mastery. Okay. This took a shift. It really took a shift here, this reading. I feel like self-mastery transmutes. Your self-mastery is, is a transmuter of negative energy. Is a, is a, how do you say this? Your self-mastery It's just self-mastery. I don't know how to, how to call this reading. Let's get one more card here. Maybe that'll help us. This is the uh, Wisdom Oracle by Claire Baron. Let's see. Oops, this one. By the book. By the book. 11. Mm -hmm. By the book is the law of attraction. It's the laws of the universe. <laughs> By the book to me is the laws of the universe. It's knowing that 
everything that happens in our life. First of all, that we are here because we chose to be, I feel, for this card. Second of all, we are masters. We are divine beings in a human body. Also, that, I'm going to stop saying for a second there because there's so many things I want to say. And that there's a book. And what is that book? It's the law of the universe, <laughs> you know? And if you abide, just 1818 on the clock now, which is amazing. If you abide, go check it out. What is 1818? I saw that yesterday. I don't remember what it said. But if you break it down, it's a 9-9, which is another 18, which is amazing. And uh, 18 is a 9, right? Sure. Anyway, um, the book. The book is a secret. <laughs> how to be in the universe, how to transmute, how to live our best life, how to manifest our desires. And how to have perspective. And live your best life. Not saying you're not going to have obstacles. No, they will always come because we're always going to be tested. We're always graduating. But you have the book. You have the book <coughs> of transmutation. Exactly. You have the book to... I'm just going to put it like this. Although it's reversed, because then when I take the pick, you have the book, Taurus. You have the book of the universe. You have the books to transmute all this negative energy that comes towards you, the lessons that come towards you. You see them, you come, you dissect them, you use your chemistry. You're the magician, basically. You're the magician. You balance it out, those scales, transmute it. Okay, cool. Your energy is always going to be balanced because you've mastered. You, it's mastery. It's self mastery. I don't know what else to say. It's funny how it all switched from like very. It, it started 3D and then it went very spiritual. Some of you needed to hear this, or maybe you guys are going through this and you don't know you can tap into this energy that is available to you. Maybe that's why the spirituality came at the end. Maybe you guys are gonna be going through this pretty soon. Remember what I said here. We started with this 3D, like being taken advantage of spending money, a loss here. A loss of uh, confidence, a loss of um, <laughs> pentacles, money, energy. Um, losing, you know, Something you really believe is disappointment it's so, that's going to bring sorrow, right? And a lack of, like, just um, energy, right? When it hits you. But then you pick your, yourself up real quick. You balance it out. You purify. And off we go. You're like, I know, how to, I know what's going on. I know. Self-mastery. This is beautiful, Taurus. One of the most beautiful readings I've done for you, I think, so far. You guys are not one of my highest viewers, but I hope you guys, um, uh, Tauruses that need this message, I'm sure will be here. And because they need to hear it. This is very, very precise. <laughs> it's like, the message is clear. All right, Taurus, I love you guys. Bye. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. I forgot to say that. Um, I will leave my Instagram and my Twitter. I have noticed that my PayPal is not working since I started the channel. Do you guys, do you guys like even, can you imagine that? A year. But like I said, I take it in, I'm like, oh well, it wasn't meant to happen. <laughs> Instead of going, you know, into the dark side of it. What use is that? That's that recalibration. That's that perspective that you guys have. If you don't know it, I am telling you, it's in you. And it's right there waiting for you. Okay? All right, so I love you guys. Bye, Taurus.